Hello, this is Stabby from the same coin uh, with Stab in the Dark, my retro game review. Now, I've wanted to make some videos for ages, but particularly, you know, about games based on, on uh, the retro era. Um, and this is one that I think a few people may have actually missed um, because although Dick Tracy was, I think, a fairly big film, in terms of, you know, Batman or Spider Man and those type of releases, I don't think it's, it did particularly well or not as well as people expected it to do. So, this video game, uh, I know that video games based on, you know, movies tend to be bollocks. But this is actually pretty good, well, f from what I remember it being pretty, you know, I seem to remember it being pretty good. Um, so, what we're going to do is going to take a little look at it, and that's the point of these videos, I think, because I want to go back, take a little look at some of these games that I played when I was a kid, and actually see if they hold up, you know, whether they're still playable, you know, the graphics, the sound, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then maybe, you know, it might inspire people to go out and actually pick it up or, or play it, you know, if they've got it or stuck it up in the loft. So, let's have a little look and see what this one's like. So this game came out in 1991, it's on the Mega Drive. And um, as you can see, it looks quite nice and colourful. It actually um, is based on vi the, the movie as well. So let's just see where we go. So here we go. This screen has popped up a few times now. We can skip past that. So let's have a quick look at the options. Standard options, really. Easy, normal, hard, all that kind of stuff. There's some really nice features with this game, actually, um, which I'll come to in a little bit. Now, I'm just going to up my credits you know, not doubting my abilities about playing the game, but you know, I want to make sure that you get a, a nice little look at it. So, let's crack on and get on with it. Tracy declares war on Big Boy. I didn't realise Fordy was in this game. Jesus, Big Boy. Yeah, it's the only Big Boy I know. Anyway, so nice little cutscene, I guess, if you want to call it that. Or still, it's um, just sets up the the actual game. So. Big boy's men seen at the train yard. I'm on my way. I think that was like his catchphrase, wasn't it? I'm on my way. Oh, and he got that little watch, hadn't he, where he could uh, talk in it and he could like report back to his commissioner or whoever. Yeah, let's go and see what Ford his men are up to. So, okay, now this looks very similar to Batman and um, E SWAT, those type of games, Rolling Thunder. You've got like a bloke and he kind of like walks across the screen. But, big difference with this one is that. He's got like a Tommy gun and he can destroy the background, which, you know, considering he's a cop, Jesus, he doesn't fuck about either. Just shooting these blokes walking towards him. They haven't done anything yet. And he just shoots them. Oh, that one's got a gun. Okay. Here we go. And I think, I mean, you know, that's pretty awesome, really, sort of having your Tommy gun. And not only do you have to concentrate on what's going on left to right, you have to concentrate on what's going on side to side as well. Ooh. Right in the face. These idiots. Okay. So yeah, I mean, the, I, I remember seeing the movie at the cinema when I was a kid, and I can't remember being that impressed with it. To be honest with you, it had Madonna in it, didn't it? And she did a lot of the music and had loads of big names. Obviously Warren Beatty. Um, yeah, just gonna shoot that car up for no reason. Oh, bad guys were in it. Good job. See, it wasn't just for no reason. Huh? Had a good reason to shoot the car. Yeah, had Warren Beatty, um, Dustin Hoffman was in it as well, Al Pacino. So there were loads and loads of big names. I mean, you couldn't really recognise Dustin Hoffman because he'd got loads of makeup on and so. Shit. Okay, here we go. Sorry. And yeah, he got loads of makeup on and prosthetics. Um, so that's why I think maybe. Freak. Oh, people miss this game. I should really concentrate on shooting the bad guys instead of just shooting the um, the glass. It's just so much fun though, to be fair. Kind of got to do it. So yeah, I'm not sure if this game did that well. But, hey, I can't believe that. He just shot me. The fire hydrant's the best. Yeah, shoot those. So I don't know if it, it did that well, but I remember playing it, as I mentioned before, in my Batman video in, um, in Software City. This, that was the first time I played this game, so I didn't have a Mega Drive at home, I had the Amiga. Actually, there was an Amiga version, I'm sure there was. Um, uh, let's take care of those. And, uh, I seem to remember that being a bit rubbish. I think that was based on the NES version, because there was a NES version and a, a Game Boy version, and that was kind of like had top-down sections where you drove around. And, um, there we go. 
and then you sort of had to investigate crimes and stuff like that. Hey, that's not too bad. No break bonus. Oh. I think that's... I shouldn't really have smashed up all the stuff in the background, but still. Never mind, hey. Um, you are timed on these levels as well. Oh, yeah. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, so you can actually punch stuff. Bang. Okay. So you can see that, I mean... Oh, no. Typical style video game. There are people dressed in different suits. And so you've got the pink guys who were kind of like the pistol blokes and then you got the blue guys who were just like cannon fodder really they don't do anything that much trouble and you got these dickheads in green who throw bombs at you okay let's have a little look at the oh shite I knew I should have turned the difficulty down to easy Right, there we go. So yeah, the controls are really nice actually. They're nice and responsive. Um, there's no lag. The, the jump, it's a basic, you know, standard jump really. But, oh shit. Oh, that was quite a nice feature actually. It's kind of fortuitous that I died, I suppose. Because at least you got to see his little hat floating away. Oh. Yeah, so the controls are quite nice. Um, a is your punch or pistol. Uh, I did say the blue guys were not any trouble at all, didn't I? I had to open my big mouth. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, here we go. Oh, in the balls. A is your pistol and your punch. B is your jump. Oh, Jesus Christ. And C is like your Tommy gun, sort of firing it in the background. Now, I'm not going to play, obviously, the whole of this game, because I appreciate people's patience would wear thin. Oh, my God. <laughs> this reminds me of Kung Fu Master as well. Yeah! Right, yeah. Anyway, so um, there's some certain sections that I just want to show you. So, obviously, these are quite nice. And, hey, you get bonuses for punching people instead of shooting them. Fuck it, shooting them is more fun. Big boy sent me to meet this train, Tracy. Now you're going to meet a bullet. Again, big boy It's the only person I know who I call big boy and that's Mr. Ford. Mr. Ben Ford. Mr. Big boy himself. Oh, what? He jumped my bloody bullet? Well, that's quite good. I mean, obviously, there's, I can't imagine there's any AI in this game particularly. You know, they just sort of walk towards you but you know the fact that they jump my bullets is something a little bit new and there's itchy in the background and if you watch him he actually does sort of whoa the I've never noticed that before or well, i can't remember noticing that before they actually roll onto the screen that's pretty cool yeah so as you can see there's like loads of nice features he actually does scratch himself just before he's about to shoot you, which is really cool. And he's just pretending to be dead. And look at all these windows. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fancy getting the bill to fix those. No. Yeah, bad guys. Itchy. More bad guys in the background. He shot me. How dare he? Now that's pretty cool. I'm not. I'm not holding the button down, and I'm just. I'm continuing to stay ducked, which is quite nice. Like I say, the controls of this are really nice, and I mean, I think. Oh, you know. The, oh, Jesus! As you can see, this is getting sort of a little bit relentless now. <laughs> Fucking bad guys coming from bottom of the screen and coming from the side of the screen the background jesus christ yeah the graphics are really nice and you know it, they kind of although i wasn't a massive fan of the um the film particularly well i haven't seen it in a long time so you know i'll probably have to go back and watch it i think they do capture the uh, spirit of the, the film which is really nice 
The music's quite good as well. Sort of typical. There we go. Itchy is nearly gone. You're pleased to know. 100% cream for what he's got. I just realised there's windows up there that I've, I've missed. There we go. Shit. And Itchy's gone. Woohoo. I'm from the roundhouse to the big house. It's from the roundhouse to the big house for you, Itchy. This case is going to blow up in your face, copper. Yeah. Didn't get any... No break bonus. Now, the bonus round is pretty fantastic, to be honest with you. It's kind of like um, a quick time event and use A, B and C from what I remember and as you can see it goes I have to shoot the bad guys and not shoot the good guys shit <laughs> talking and playing is not easy as you can tell and you can press the button simultaneously which is really cool actually so yeah shoot the bad guys by pressing A, B or C as you can see uh, they kind of like A's on the left and C's on the right, obviously. Yeah, I'd normally be a lot quicker at this, but like I say, talking and doing it is tricky. There we go. Ah, oh, hit one good guy. Never mind. So you get new credits for that, which is pretty cool. And like I say, there's a nice variety. The lab boys say that train was carrying nitroglycerin and checking out its destination. Here we go. Now, if I remember rightly as well, Okay, it's, I think it's just after this bit. So, very quickly skip through this. There's some nice, you know, nice bits of variety in. Shit! Where did he come from? Okay, the bad guys have got Tommy guns now in the background, which makes them more dangerous. And you've got these knife wielding arseholes. Shit, and the bad guys duck and shoot instead of just standing and shooting. As you can see, difficulty kind of ramps up the further you go into the game. Oh, it's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time, trying to keep an eye on what's going on here. Oh my god! Right, I don't know what he's doing, just standing there just waiting for me punch in the head right well oh, you can you can shoot windows shit oh fuck. okay I really hope I get to the part that I really wanted to show you because it's I say it's one of the really good parts of this game I don't think I'm too far off it. Jesus. I was. Right, I am going to try once more. And I'll see if I can get to it. Actually, it should have turned the difficulty around, really, shouldn't it? But still, never mind. It's always good for a challenge. And you can see as well, the, um, the backgrounds, the... They've actually got um, bits to hide behind as well, which they didn't have before. So it does pose a bit of a challenge, this game. Those knife guys aren't too bad now. You just shoot them before they get a chance to shoot, jump at you. Oh, All right. Yeah. So you can jump as well as... Um, Firing. Pew. Is it bloody to shot them because they're all after his blood. Okay. Let's drop down. Punch him. The other good thing that which I quite like is the fact that when you just happen to run into them, it doesn't hurt you. Which again is kind of. In a lot of games, that, that does happen. You only have to touch a bad guy and it hurts you. 
but I just thought that's a bit silly, really. You know, it's oh shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, cooking on gas now. Yeah, it's a bit silly just touching a bad guy, hurting you. I mean, surely the you know, if he stabbed me or punched me, then fair enough. But just touching me hurts. It's crazy. All right, go. These frigging crates. Oh, stabbed me in the foot. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can see it gets pretty relentless. Luckily, you don't go back right to the beginning. Just uh, take him back a little bit. Right. It is quite challenging. So as you can see, I mean, like, this game, it, it's very nice, it, it plays really well, um, I think if you have got it, I'd definitely dig it out and um, fire it up. Uh, ah, stop me in the bloody foot again. Yay, we made it. Only took me about three attempts still never mind now this is the part that I really want to show you so you're on the side of a car it's amazing it's really cool isn't it you got bad guys in the background I mean it's essentially you're doing the same thing as you were before you're sort of firing in the background you're gonna have cars coming backwards and forwards but look at it I mean it's amazing it you know you can ram into because you're actually controlling the car as well ram into the cars you can jump a little bit look at that look at his coat in the background it's freaking amazing isn't it and you can duck as well there we go you can kind of see where they're coming from which is pretty cool if you go down if you shoot the background oh, okay here we go see what i find with these good sort of tactic is to do that spam it a little bit oh shite Three bad guys in that car in the orange. Four. The car. Five. I didn't count the, oh, the blue one. Okay. Five bad guys? Yeah, I suppose you can get five in a car, can't you? Oh, feck. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realise that as well. You've got a little. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway. I think I'm going to leave it there because I'm sure your patience is wearing a little thin and there's only so much you can actually watch somebody play a game for without getting a bit fed up. So I might just get to, actually no sorry I'll get to the end. You can turn off if you want to. Nobody's forcing you to watch the fucking video for Christ's sake. Anyway. There we go. Because I'm just over halfway which is cool. This kind of reminds me of that bit in Lethal Enforcers. Remember when you, you the light gun game and you shoot in the um, the cars and there's like about 100 blokes in one car. And like I say, this isn't too bad because there's, there's only well five so far I've counted. You get a little, little indication where they're coming from as well. But yeah, I mean the graphics of this are really nice. And like I say, it, it kind of you get a lot of variety in the game. So you've got the side scrolling bits Whoa. oh fuck how close was the end no I'm not going to continue but that was it that was Dick Tracy on the Mega Drive um, pff, great game I'd carry on playing it all night to be honest with you but um, like I say your patience is going to be wearing thin so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the same coin this is Stabby bye bye take care everyone